sinking funds. A sinking fund is an annuity account. The difference here is that we are projecting how much money we want to have, so I call that D dollars, in the annuity account in T number of years. So let's say an individual might establish a sinking fund for the purpose of paying off a debt in the future or saving money for a down payment on a house or to buy a car. A corporation might establish a sinking fund in order to accumulate enough money to replace equipment at some future date or to upgrade their facilities. So basically, the information that we have when we are dealing with calculating the payments, which we need to determine the amount of the periodic payments, into this annuity is we predetermine what is the future value. How much money do we need? We know the periodic interest rate, and we know exactly how many years we're going to have. Now, be very careful when you're calculating this, the periodic payment. Notice, again, we go to formulas, we go to financial, we go to PMT. There are basically four windows that we're going to use. The first one is called the rate. There we're going to click on the periodic interest rate, which is the I. The second one is the N per, and that tells you the total number of interest periods or periodic payments into the account. That is your N. The next window is going to say PV. We're going to use that only for loans, so skip it. And then you're going to have EV, FV. Remember, you put in a negative, and that's the amount that we want to be able to accumulate in the future. So we're going to go through a problem, and I really want you to watch very carefully how we input the information into the computer on an Excel spreadsheet. A city has two and a and five-tenths million dollars worth of school bonds that are due in 20 years and has established a sinking fund to retire this debt. So they have to pay back the two million five hundred thousand dollars in 20 years. If the fund earns interest at the rate of 7% compounded annually, what amount must be deposited annually into this fund? Again, remember, we need $2,500,000 in the account. That is going to be the future value. The interest rate is 7% compounded annually. It's going to be established for a period of 20 years. Again, we want to be able to identify the values for the M, the I, and the N. Since the interest is compounded annually, we're going to put in the amount in one year. The I, which is the periodic interest rate, is the nominal interest, which is 7%, divided by 1, and it's still going to be the 7%. The N is going to be equal to the M, which is 1, times the T, which is 20, and therefore we're making 20 payments. Now, in order to be able to calculate the periodic payment, we go to formulas, we go to financial, and we're going to go down to PMT. Now, the PMT, when you says, calculates the payment for a loan. But we are going to calc use it to calculate the payment for the future value. So again, please watch as we enter the amount. The rate is the periodic interest rate, which is the I. The N per is the N, the total number of payments for the future value. Next, we have the PV, which we're going to skip. And then we're going to go to the future value, which is the FV. We type in negative, and we put in the $2,500,000. Notice that you have a double comma after the end to indicate that you are missing one of the windows. You do not have to put in the type. We press OK. And that tells us that the periodic payment is $60,982.30 per year. All right, let's go to another problem. The proprietor of Carson Hardware has decided to set up a sinking fund for the purpose of purchasing a truck in two years. It is expected that the cost of the truck will be $30,000. If the fund earns 10% interest compounded quarterly, determine the amount of each quarterly payment into the fund. Again, quarterly payments because the interest is compounded quarterly. So the future value, we want $30,000 in the fund. The sinking value interest rate is 10% paid quarterly. 
The time is two years. Since the interest rate is paid quarterly, M is going to be four, which means we're making four periodic payments per year, and we're getting paid interest four times a year. The I is equal to the M, which is four, which, excuse me, not the M, back up. The MI is equal to the interest rate, which is the R, the 10%, divided by, and I forgot to calculate that, let's try again, the 10%, divided by the four, which tells you it's 25 thousandths of interest per quarter, or two and five tenths percent interest. The N is equal to the M, which is four, times the two, so there are eight interest periods. Therefore, let's calculate the periodic payments, and this time I'm going to do it from insert function so you see the difference. We are in financial. We go down to PMT, and scrolling down, there we go. Let's click on it, we get the same window. The interest rate is the 2.5%. The N per is the 8. Skip the PV window, go straight to FV, minus the amount of money that we need, the 30000 Again, notice you have two commas in the parentheses that calculate the periodic payments. And therefore, our periodic payment is going to be $3,434.02.